Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify uh, this radical expression that has some multiplication here. So we are multiplying negative 3 times the square root of 12 times the square root of 7. Now, it is very important for doing these problems that we understand that when we're taking the product of square root of a times square root of b, that that is equivalent to the square root of a times b. So therefore, I can multiply 12 times 7. Um, and I can multiply negative 3. You could say there's a 1 on the outside of here as well. And multiply those. But you can't multiply outside to inside. Now, before we get to that, though, we always want to make sure we can simplify our radicals. So therefore, we want to be able to break down the radicals, if at all possible. Um, and when breaking down the radicals, the easiest way I've found to be able to do that is find the largest um, perfect square that can be a factor of either of your radicands. Now, 7 is a prime number, so I can't factor, um, factor that any further. However, 12 is not a prime factor, and I do notice that I have a square factor, which is 4. So I'm going to rewrite 12 as the product of 4 times 3. Now, the reason why I do that is because I know the, the reason why I wrote those perfect numbers are because the square root of perfect numbers, or you can take the square root of a perfect number, and it's going to be an integer. So the square root of 4 is going to be 2. So I have negative 3 times 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 7. Now I can multiply negative 3 times 2, which is a negative 6, and square root of 3 times the square root of 7 is going to be the square root of 21. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you multiply two radical expressions to simplify. Thanks.